the match that everyone has been very excitedly waiting for. It's the return of Anna. It's gonna look good here and allow this Ursa to really uh, come online. Yeah, something I've seen from a lot of these uh, mid laners when they have more spam oh. ability than the opposing. Oh, that's happening. Bottom does get taken out finally. Not too far behind here over here on Topson, really. Up top. Top spin, Stalmanen. Yeah, down he goes to the spin of the Humble God. Yep, TP's to the tower as well, so he can stay up there and continue to get that experience. Oh, the, again, mid. the roll down goes Topson with a big hit from Wish. Pugna. It adds a big element to just kill the Pugna during the crap. What else is going on? Skylark is, of course, taking that top tower. The roll in from Stalmanen. The teleports are coming up. That's a big silence coming through here. Followed up. Oh, but they have the Ravage. Even though they have that Terrorizer going to follow up. Down goes Wish. These Brambles holding them into place. Trying to use that Bedlam in as well. But Skylark is very tanky. Curse Crown will proc, though. Stalmanen now running himself out. It's Topson clicking away over here at Skylark. No tail. Going for a little bit of a dive here. Does not have that split already, though. It already went down during the early portion of the fight, so they do manage to collect on the Brewmaster. Everyone's just grouped up within this. Oh, the stacks! And they're doing it. They're starting to. They have to contest this here. You see Seb getting into position. Nice blinding light. Stoneman and rolling on out. Skylark is still here. Wish over on the back lines. Getting the life drain off. Over onto the Dark Willow. Needs to be careful, though, because they drag right back and tricks the kid. Doing a lot. RP comes through as well. Wish goes down. And now it looks like they'll be able to claim themselves a pelt of a bear as the rest of Braim on the run. Ooh, Thompson. He was hoping he could grab Stoneman in here. Not going to be able to quite find it, but he'll find Spartan and dead and chase after him get himself a double kill stoneman and running now from anna oh the block comes out down goes the earth spirit and now it is just the tanky skylark who is left and it's not looking like he's gonna survive this although they look like they'll back off a little bit here but i don't know teleports coming out the buyback from stoneman and they want this kill on no till they need to get something from this so they will be able to collect that kill on the position five but look at this look at thompson look at anna socks and they're coming right back in again they get the omni slash off and down goes stoneman and then Skylark now chasing after them is silenced up. But again, he's a big tanky boy. Love to put some more damage. They throw out that blast. And they just don't have anything to cancel out this teleport from Ana. So he is out. No problem here. Sox is going to be able to flip those little wings away. But hey, take a look. They still have the stack. <laughs> Skylark, care. We all died. I'm still taking them. Topson needs to be very careful here. They're going to try to go back in. Topson looking at Wish with the goo goo eyes. He'd love to get a kill here. Spartan, though, needs a little bit of assistance. They do manage to use the Decrepify. Focus coming back around. I hear a Ravage going on on the other side. Oh, No Tail goes down while we're just watching as they chase after Topson. He wants this kill so bad, Fogged. So it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get it. Look at Spartan. He wants that. Soxa, though, is going to go down here to the big old bear. On a slicing away over here, over at Focus, spinning trying to do anything he can, but there it is. There's a little battery coming out from Wish as he keeps him alive. And now Anna, he's left pretty much alone. There's Seb nearby, but there's not much that he can do. Thompson jumping right back in again. Does have that shroud as he chases after Wish, but he cannot get this kill. And Skylark again, oh just swinging around in the middle of all of them, throwing out the taunt, says, come and get me, OG, if you dare. Be very careful. Our smoke of deceit, of course, up and running. Could see a very big RP, but look at this line that they have to cross. In fact, they get the jump first. So they'll silence up Seb, they'll knock him back. It's not going to be able to get in that pit as easily. Again, they still have the Ravage here. There'll be the split being committed now by No Tail. They'll go and use the Curse Crown as well. Yules is going to get used on the back line here, or rather the Panda throwing up the Tornado, but everything is just so split. Look at this. You've got Pandas running after SSA Spartan. You've got a whole fight on the back lines. Focus just can't figure out where he wants to go. He sees Seb over there. No Tail. All right, the split is over. This could work in their favor, but Topson on the back line, hoping maybe that he can get a quick pickoff, make this a little bit easier for them. There's no four staff yet over onto Spartan, so he is going to go down. Down. But they'll be able to return and get themselves a kill. Now is no tail next to Paul. They don't have vision over here onto Thompson, but they get the roll forward over here onto Seb. Seb, he needs help. The kickback, he's just surrounded by too many of these heroes. He's not looking like he's going to survive this. Down he goes. Wish gets himself a double kill. They did buy back on Spartan for this, but now, okay, they're going to buy back now on Seb. They don't want to allow them to get this Roche. Anna, you need to be a little bit careful here. We'll throw out the spin. Double damage over onto Thompson, though. He could absolutely blow up one of these supports or maybe even a bear here smoke screen does get dropped look at skylark roman and rolling on into the pit they'll get the jump the silence this is looking like a decent amount of damage on skylark but it's not enough to take him down again brambles get thrown down snowman should be able to roll on out another illuminate getting tossed and they have a nice position over here uh-oh 
Skylark, you need to be careful. Though without the DD, maybe not as easy to take down. They'll use that defusal, mana. though. Silence up. Oh, the Decrepify comes out. We'll be able to protect him fairly easily here. But okay, he goes off. He gets the Rabbit to immediately take out No-Tail. He is not going to be a part of this fight at all. Skylark still alive and out over here. He's going to need some assistance. Thompson, though, managing to find the opening over on just Skylark. But the Rabbit is already out. Nice RP coming out from Seb as they go. And they just slice through the side of Brame here. Down goes Stoneman. And Skylark, though, he bought back. He doesn't want to let them take advantage of this fight as they chase after Ana, which is looking, trying to find this opening, and he is just so damn tanky. Spartan throwing up the Illuminate knows that they're all going to be around here. Does need to be careful, though. Topson aware that he's in this vicinity. And look at this big old Tide Hunter. They have nothing to cancel out this teleport coming out from that Dark Willow. Protect himself overall versus the Dispels because there's a Brewmaster. So there's a lot of different ways covering and protecting himself. And then this Blink. Like, if they do get the jump onto a Tide Hunter, let's say with Omni, he can get those deep reps off as the initiation. But all right. No. Yeah, the split gets used here, but Soxa taking a lot of damage. They'll turn right back around, though. They'll get the kill on Stoneman, and he's going to buy back. Back. Again, Skylark, he's a big tanky boy, so they're just trying to ignore him, and they're just ripping apart these pandas here. They want to get rid of No-Tail, if possible, and they're just leaving Skylark kind of high and dry from the back end. Looks like he's going to be able to survive. Gets the Ravage off as they'll follow up Thompson. He was hunting. He wanted Witch, but he's not going to be able to get it because it looks like Focus will be able to collect himself a kill here. Brambles will hold him into place with Stormin. Oh, he's hungry. He wants that kill on No-Tail. Focus just running around a big old angry bear here. Throws out the Enray. Chases after him. Chases after Soxa. Wish is going to be the one who gets the kill. To Decrepify over on the side. The roll from Stormin and the kick back over the life drain. This is a dead end if I've ever seen one. And now Seb, he looks like he's going to be the next one to fall, despite the fact he's using his blow-up, trying to get out. That is a double kill now for Focus. These quick little deep preps, quick ways to reset the fight. He's a big ol' bear, that's for sure. Top lane, they see tops, and they want this kill. They'll knock him back. They throw out the gush, and uh, down he goes. He was, he was absolutely the standout from him and Wish were the two that were just really surprising me with some of their moves as on a bottom. Mm -hmm. They do get uh, they the bash connection. Teleports are coming out as well here. You've got Seth nearby. The roll through coming out from Stoneman and followed up with a beautiful blink ravage. They do manage to get the split off but Seth pushing all the way back over here. Uses the RP. It doesn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot as Illuminate is going to get tossed out. And Skylark will go down. He already got the ravage off. Focus will go down. There. Stoneman there. is, they're a little far. They're a little bit too deep here as down goes Stoneman and now Focus is just trying to focus on someone. Does get a hit off over here on the Dark Willow, but the skewer right back again. He'll punish them for diving just a little bit too far here. And Spartan says, oh dear God, please, I don't want Topson to find me. Topson, though, his spidey sense is tingling. He's looking for him. He's doing a little bit of peekaboo here in the trees, but he's not going to be able to find him. Not this time. And just like that, the game state returns to being pretty comfortable and pretty okay for uh -oh. OG, just in one quick <laughs> fashion. The RP bringing them completely out of range, and I mean, we're going to oh. keep watching Spartan. Yeah, Spartan. He's, he's trying Body so wise. hard, but look at this tops and the blinks right forward. Decrepit fight does come out from Wish. They're gonna try to teleport him out, but not gonna be able to do it. Now Wish needs to be careful that he doesn't just chain feed here. Reluctant to just jump on the OG train. It's been it's been some time since they played with him. Ooh. They had had some rough situations to it. Now RP, Skylar. RP, Skylar. He's oh he almost manages to get out, but. Down he goes, Spartan now running for his life. He's gonna have to leave Stolman in behind here as No-Till will turn back around, or rather Focus is uh, jumped in over here. Stolman and rolling forward. There's a couple of these nice hits off. Those Greaves coming in handy, Focus. Still trying to run away. The Bramble's holding them into place. No tail. Oh, but look at this wish. He's got to be the little battery who keeps him alive. As Stoneman does indeed get left behind, he is gonna be the sacrifice, but they do manage to get Focus out. <laughs> We do have the Blink Dagger picked up on Ursa now, so perhaps we can see something like a pickoff, but they're moving as five here. In fact, they go, they drop a ward immediately. Here's Barton backing off the roll forward, though. They're going to try to just take out No-Tail, and down he goes immediately. But the follow-up is coming in here as they turn, and they have an idea. Okay, follow up here with the Ravage Blink forward. They'll be able to go. They take down Seb. They managed to almost take down Thompson. Not quite yet. Looks like he's going to be able to survive that, but this Dark Willow's not looking very healthy as Saxa does indeed go down. Got a big angry bear with Basher and BKB. They'd love to get in there if possible, but like you said, they've got wait for that ravage i don't think you want to be to get back up five seconds they can start looking to go they oh, know sleeping dart right too. thompson trying to just clean about stoneman immediately they follow up with the decrepify the and that BKB. is the bkb though and the double damage nice rp coming out from seven they'll follow up with the ravage and it just barely clips them at the very edge of this here stoneman and buys back luminate comes up they're not finding a great position right now this is looking really bad here for wish as he's caught in the middle of it does have an a on this though he's gonna be all right with stoneman he's taking too much damage he just fought back. He can't afford to go down here. Wish goes down. Stomina goes down. They don't have the Ravage. Spartan now trying to 
run for his life as Skylark also just leaving the area. Oh, the jump forward. They want this kill on the Coddle. And they're going to be able to get it. It's a double kill now for Thompson. And Focus. Oh, Focus. He's chasing after a fairy, and he can't quite get his claws on her. But you know what? No Tail will be able to get the kill on the bear. While the rest of OG was playing Dota, Anna was studying the blade. <laughs> No, he really was. <laughs> Six and one and eleven. You know, he made the one little trip up where he did die, but besides that... I think he's allowed one. The jump in, though, the pushback immediately over here onto the Ursa. That is not the place he wants to be right now. They even go and use the Terrorize. He's just dead. Down for 89 seconds. Tower's just getting chopped away. A different continent. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> Down goes the tower. The racks are going down. Spartan is just too forward here as he uh, is going to get saved here for a moment. But I'm sure as soon as that wears off, he is dead. This dart is super annoying. The cast range is so far. Like, it actually is really obnoxious and allows his team to set up the plays of Skewer, which, man, Ooh. there we go again. Okay, well, it looks like they might be able to get the kill on Thompson, but Stominen was just pushed too far out here. Oh, this is not looking good now for the tie He's trying to get himself into the base, and No-Tail Pandas are just running in full force right now, which is Aeontis comes out, and the GG does indeed get called. So OG will be taking game number one of this series. They brought, they brought, they brought the battles back early on in the game, but you could definitely see OG just a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, we'll see what Thompson is able to do with Pugna. This is, you know, he is an absolute specialist. Now, this is one of his most played. Will definitely be a treat Soxa. here, but Soxa has attracted a little bit more attention than I think he'd really like here. Fodokshin will buy him a little bit more time, but it still looks like he is going to be the first blood as Skylark will swing that mighty sword. Get a nice root off here as well, coming out from Spartan. Seb forced to run away, but again, he is fairly tanky. The pressure that Thompson is going to be able to put down early on here is, is a little bit faster of a lineup than last time around. And you know that they want yeah. to put a lot of pressure onto this Alchemist, but they get a kick back over here onto Spartan. They'll get the stomp and uh, is forced out that very fire, but down goes the Oracle. Down bottom, Toxa yeah. making another move. Stoneman and trying to find this opening. Does have the fairy fire though, and they've got the Photic Shield over here on Humble God. They're looking, they're hunting. Can they find him? It looks like they'll turn back around. They need to be careful though. Anna can't afford to go down here. Stoneman does get taken down by Humble God. Roll forward though again, coming out from Soxa. It's pretty difficult to get a kill on a Doom here. Anna is the one who makes the rotation to top. And Seb, he's just content contesting jungle. Don't let Seb target those jungle camps at all. That is a big problem. They need to help focus out here and make sure that he, he can get his farm on. Every time. Yeah. Oh, Stop. Yeah, it there. So it's going to be the Hex, though. They'll follow up. All right. He's not going to be able to run away from this one this time around. Followed up with a nice route into place, but they just don't really have that much damage just yet. And they're all out of ways to cancel it. Oh, never mind. In comes Wishies, gets those searing chains off, throw out the Hex. It's taken a lot to kill Seb, but they eventually find it. And Skylark was sitting very, very low down here himself. Needs to be careful. Roll forward coming out from Soxa. Was a bit close for comfort. Roll forward coming out from Soxa. Gonna be able to give a kick off to Stubborn. Maybe the wrong direction there, just a little bit. Spartan does go down. The left side. OG has fully claimed it with all these heroes. Seb is still not making the way over where he's the big tanky one. They do need him to be able to walk onto that mm -hmm. high ground, but Sox is going to go in for the second. Got vision now. It's not looking good for Stominen as he is going to get life drained. Skylark chasing after Thompson here. A little bit of a heel tossed out by No-Tail. Seb again, big tanky boy, gets the stomp off. Look at this life drain. The roll in coming out from Soxa. And one more hit should do the trick. Down goes Skylark. Be careful here, Soxa and No-Tail both. Revealing themselves. No tail's absolutely fine. Roll in coming out from Sox. A little bit off the mark though. They need to be careful though, Thompson. Coming in hot. They'll follow up with the mass TPs. They're trying to just take that stuff. And they're not gonna be able to. The Doom comes out from Skylar. So it looks like Thompson's not gonna be a part of this now. It's gonna be Soxa who gets taken down. SSA Spartan is also dead. Anna, he's left all alone here. He's gonna need some help from the rest of his team, but they just don't have the lockdown. No tail following up here is gonna be able to go heal him back into place. Seth being held as well. As he gets a nice stomp off over onto two life drain, comes out over onto the Alchemist. They Still, Anna, still alive and kicking, just chases down after focus. Down he goes, yes. Thompson getting the final hit off. What looked like it was 
going to be a dangerous place here for the humble god Bruce to be just a piece of cake when he's got the rest of his team there. Skylark will get away. Did you watch Seb? He just goes, hits some of the creeps, is like, ah, Skylark, yeah, the rest of the team's gonna come clean you up, probably. Hex coming out, though, over on the side, but now Storm, he is just completely isolated from the rest of his team as Humble God going pretty deep here, was chasing after Spartan and Skylark. Looks like we are going to lose the Shadow Shaman, which trying his best to help out, but the roll forward coming out from Soxa, plus that blast will be able to take down the Shaman, and they'll find themselves another pickoff here. Soxa going perhaps just a bit too far as the rest of OG sitting up over on this cliff face, waiting for them to get too greedy, waiting for them to jump onto Ana. But it looks like they're playing a little safe here. Yeah. It, just, it really is just buddy oh, system focus. and just great healing coming out as focus now. Oh, he's got he... the chemical rage, but he's completely locked down. I mean, he's got Spartan. Spartan can go and throw out that false promise at the very least, keep him alive. But uh, they do manage to get a pick off over onto Thompson. So that's looking pretty good. Spartan now it looks like he is going to get taken down. But you know what? He hit his R button. He kept focus alive. And that is what a good Oracle should do. But unfortunately, this is looking a little scary now here for Wish because he doesn't have anyone to keep him alive. The follow up, though, with the Serpent Wars, get a nice slide off, being able to hold into place over onto Seb. Wish now forced away Skylark. He's big and tanky, but doesn't have any mana left. There's going to be a roll forward coming out from Soxa. Focus chasing after Soxa. They're looking for an opening, but in comes Ana over onto the back lines. He's a little bit too far forward. Beautiful stomp, though, coming out from Seb over on the side as Ana runs away. He's going to be protected. They'll end up losing Soxa. They end up losing no tail. Seb running, just galloping away, but they're just going to keep chasing after this pony. And one more hit. Focus will happily right. take that kill. He's now queued up the Ag. So Ag's also got buffed in duration by one. And it's just good, it's strong. God, they still have the middle tower up. Goodness. Different words get used. Hobson gonna try to force yeah. this creep wave off. So jump for the blink over onto Skylark. Roll over onto the back lines with the silence. Look at this magnetized damage coming out. Plus the life drain. Spark is gonna go down first. There's gonna be no saves for you here. And that BKB over on Skylark looks really pretty, but it hasn't been able to do a whole heck of a lot. Though they'll jump back. They'll get the hold up over here onto Skylark. And a nice stomp down goes Soxa. And the follow-up, Seb's going to be able to walk away, but they've got Focus. so much damage. This is not looking great here for the Alchemist. He's going to try to waddle on out. He needs some help from the rest of his team, and he doesn't have it. He doesn't have Spartan there to keep him alive. Another slight coming out, just trying to discourage them from going too, too hard here. I mean, how do you even get in there? How do you make things happen? Grapify again. Spartan standing nearby, and they have the ward down. This, this rush Skylark, though, jumping on in the middle. Are they going to be able to do it? Radiant still goes down. And then that's going to be Humble God grabbing up that Aegis. Stomp forward, coming after Spartan. Down he goes. The rest of the side of Team Brave just running away. The roll forward, they'll get the Hex off. Focus running, wants to get back into his base as fast as possible. Wants nothing to do with the rest of this fight. He does end up stunning himself, but he's safely into the base. But you know who's not is going to be, of course, Dominan. And they're going a bit deep here. Trying to just get this kill onto Focus is on a step. All of them, they're just running in. They oh, Focus, is he going to make it out alive? Yes, they made to go and keep him at, but it's not looking great here for SSA Spartan. He's trying to run. Wish, Wish is going to go down, though, as Spartan manages to get himself back. And oh my god, Ana, he wants it the fountain dive, and he's still alive. Down goes. Finally, Ana it is the Aegis, of course, coming right back up again. But my goodness, have mercy, OG. As now Skylark's got those ticks off. They do finally manage to get Seb, but now Humble God, they're trying everything. They want to get him out of here, and they do finally manage to slay Humble God, but uh, <laughs> that was a pretty big dive coming out from him there. Trickle away that mana. They will commit onto this melee Rex. All right, the jump forward again, trying to just put some damage over onto Humble God, but look at him. He's just getting sliced oh away. Forces the BKB out over here onto the Doom, which is very far in. Where's the rest of his team? He might have gone up just a little bit too far, but it looks like with that BKB up and running, he's allowed to walk away, but that's not how you want to use that BKB because Seppi just jumps right on in. They'll go, they'll slice him into ribbons. Down goes Wish. He has no buyback. Spartan is not going to make it out alive either. Both of them down. Damn. And the, so, so. Uh, are we are we fountain oh, diving? Sorry. Are we doing this? Oh, are we absolutely. doing this, Ana? He's going right on, and he wants to go and just murder everyone. Stomina, he manages to go hold him into place for a little bit longer here. This OG is just not showing any mercy. Is Ana stuck in the wards? Is going to help to get helped out here by No Tail, but he's just going to town. Eventually, though, <laughs> eventually he dies. <laughs> Look at this face. He's having a great time playing Dota here. Stomina has that hold. But down he goes as well. They have slayed, slayed the humble god. 
<laughs> with them being not so humble. And they're focus. Just, they're just having fun here. Gonna be a uh, teleport coming out from Soxa. Spartan, oh Spartan, he's just too slow and there's no escape for him. Down he goes. Little things in this fight, like Soxa is just doing God's work. Just these silences are so clutch every single time. Seb, he's far forward, but immediately covered. The shield, the heal, the Lotus. Yeah, no tail's not worried at all, and in comes the humble god again. He's just gonna burn through all of Wishes' mana. They're all forward. And they get the disarm off, and the Jakrapify will be able to go take down seven of Wishes next to fall. And they do manage to get the Doom off, but it doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. There's so many ways to keep this little guy alive and kicking, although Focus is trying the best he can. All right, they do finally slay Thompson. But uh, Humble God is deep in the base here. Buyback now coming out from Thompson. Spartan just gets chonked out again. It's another 30 seconds on the clock for this guy. Focus, oh, focus. He's trying to get himself back into this fountain. Will they go for a fountain type again? Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I even bothered asking that question. They're just going right after focus. They get the stomp off over onto the side coming out from both the centaur and, of course, the doom. Anna, he wants this kill and he's going to be able to grab it. The buyback, though, immediately. They're really angry. They don't like this. They don't like the fact that this Phantom Lancer has been allowed to basically take a poop in their own fountain. Oh my god. OG. There's really no mercy in this game and just showing a real understanding of how much they just destroyed the draft, really, right? Like, even this Alchemist, this, sure, he was still decently farmed, but the way that they just made it look like they were just nothing. I love how the game's not even over yet, Fog. You're like, man, look at this beautiful draft. And look at the way, yeah. They do manage to kill No Tail, so that is one of their saves. Down Tops and does have to be a little bit careful here because they're hot on his heels. And he doesn't have a No Tail to keep him alive. He's going to try to go for the life drain again, but in comes Focus. This could be a dead Thompson again. In fact, yes, it is. They went just perhaps a little bit too far, but Ana over here chasing after this Oracle gets himself yet another kill. Turns his attention now over to Stalman. And he's going to try to get this kill on Focus. They're trying to give him a rampage. I'm pretty sure of it right now, Vagas. They just keep running and chasing. And they're going right back into the fountain yet again. They're trying to help him out at this point. As Wish again. Just. Wish is gonna die. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Seb goes down for that. Oh, Wish he's still alive, my friend. He's gonna die fairly soon, I have a feeling, but. Uh, you know, he made it out the first time. Now, all right, down goes Wish. Focus running back into the battle. Look at the tips coming out. The humble god is back. Look at him. Show mercy. On a PL, ladies and gentlemen. And it got buffed. God Welcome bless. The show. God bless. Spartan's got himself a ghost scepter now. He wants nothing to do with this. Soxa. Uh... All right, all right, all right. He's finally going to die. You... They are. They are indeed. Rush is up. All right. So maybe they can oh, get This is a dead shaman. So he's buying a little bit more time here. They might be able to get the. Nope. Down he goes. They've got their eyes again over here onto Thompson. He's going to decrepify himself, try to buy himself a little bit more time. The BKB over here onto Wish, but they'll be able to root into place. As now Thompson, the rest of the team coming in hot. No Tail trying his best, wants to try to keep him alive if possible. But over on the back lines, No Tail is going to go down. Wish next to fall. Thompson, oh, did they go a little bit too far here? Because Focus, focusing him dead. He's trying to life drain the best as he can, but Thompson does indeed go down. Step chasing after Spartan here, and he's not going to be able to quite grab it. The Humble got himself. He's teleporting. He wants to be a part of this. He wants wants to get some of those kills. And there's no fountain for him to dive this time just yet, so perhaps he'll last a bit longer here. The question is, does Humble God want to actually finish the game, or does he want to keep farming up, you know, heroes? He got the tier, he got the tower, now it's time to go. <laughs> now he's just chasing after Spartan. He's like, all right, there's not gonna be any of these saves going on, down you go, there's no buyback on him. Go for the stampede, he's running right into the fountain yet again, he wants Dominan. And he's got all the illusions. It's a good stun, though, here coming out from Focus. And you have to remember, he does have a rapier. So that is going to be the ages going down. They've got ways to lock him down. They have to be quick about it. Nice silence, though, coming out from Sox. buys a little bit more time. Anna gets dominant again. This should be able to go clean up Wish. And he's like, hmm, I see there's a rapier here. I would like that, but, you know, we'll focus over here onto Wish. Does have to be careful. Nice stop coming out from Sox. And follow up with Sox. Down goes Stominant. They want this. They want to get as many kills as they can get here. Wish trying to run away. Can't run very far because it is, of course, his own fountain. But the creeps are just winning the game for them while all of this is going down. The GG gets called. Humble God, have mercy as OG. They're looking real nice now with Anna back on the squad. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was, that was something.